Hello, this is JP the Death checking back in for another episode of our Divinity Original Sin 2 playthrough. We are going to start Off you go. this rat. I can't be seen ratternizing with the likes of you. Ratternizing? Like, like fraternizing, but different. She's worried about people. Well, people think she's a sorcerer. Why would... Okay. A sorcerer? Ha! Second rat wizards by my book. That lizard there's a sorcerer, and look at her now. Strung up by her hands with a death rattle hanging round her lips. I don't know which one we're talking about. I'll have her eyeball when she's done with it. Won't be long now. Well, I'm a rat, and you're some kind of... Mm, curious, large-style flesh beast. Never the twain shall mix. Thus spaketh the reddish, large-style flesh beasts. Just look at what happened to that lovely flick-tongued scale slitherer when she spent too much time with a lumbering, large-style flesh beast of her own. No thank you. The rat hisses at you with sibilant malevolence. Carry on then, stink beast. Don't let little old me distract you from your very important stink business. Come back. Can't come back. Maybe in the town. Alright, let's go into uh first over here. Across the bridge. See what there is to see. As long as there's no sorcerers, there's no void woken. You're fine as long as you don't go wandering. Silent watchers, are you the silent monk, like every other, has nothing to say. Last time I was here, I summoned my wolf right in the tavern. <laughs> All hell broke loose. Good times. Good times. Well, that would explain why he was in prison. I wonder if they'll remember me. I've spotted something. just when he thought he was free. There are marks on his body. Something in the water got to him. Yours of fishing experience behind me. 
and I'm reduced to begging to gut and clean what catches make it back. You'd swear the shark was smiling at you. Don't let up now. Keep hauling that cargo. Go on, you mute sacks of flesh. Put your backs into it. I'll not lose another day to the tide. The Lord Dread awaits. Its sails billow with Dallas's breath. I'll... The Magister stops barking orders. He sniffs the air like a predator, turns to face you, the wolf eyeing the deer. You do not get to make that decision. That decision is mine. A good day? Let's talk about a good day. Tell me, have you ever been strung up by the hands? Your body swinging like a bell's clapper as your bones are being broken with cast iron rods. I inquire because I enjoy painting a picture, a picture with which I'm so very intimately familiar. Let me guess, he's coming at us. He licks his lips. Dry flesh turns wet. See, I'd like to string you up too. Rack you with rods and leave you dangling over a puddle of your own blood and piss. My favorite one. I'm very this? good at what I do, see? I don't even need a sauce hound yapping at my side. There was a whiff of something in the air when you approached. A current of filth, that is to say, sauce. Best convince me I was mistaken. See, I don't have... Um... Wits, memory, and strength, because... I've not had any success with these things. You know, if anything, I have the most wits, but... Maybe that's what I should do, is try to have that, but I don't... We succeeded, I'll be damned. He leans in closer and sniffs the air once more. Interesting. So I was mistaken. Must have been ambition I smelt on you, not the magic that dare not speak its name. Very well. In that case, we'll forego the gallows and turn straight to the hunt. A would-be magister has to prove his killer instinct. After all, seems peaceful here, doesn't it? A quiet day in a quiet town. One wouldn't think these drifting woods toss on dwarf-troubled waters, but they do. Consider for a moment the dwarf. What is he? A mule? A beast of burden? But some defy that role. There are rats among them, dancing to their rat queen's tune. I need of a rat catcher. Of course, I must depart post haste. But Julian here will stay behind and be a good little parrot. Ask and he will answer. Stay behind? But... but I've my orders. Same as you. Dallas. I think he's got bitch slaps. Like I said, Julian is staying. Nice guy. And with that, I must be off. No hard feelings about the death threats, of course. How about we part shaking hands instead of stringing them up?
How very heartwarming. One last thing. The Magisters here are diligent men and women. A stranger like you may run into troubles with them. Should this happen, just wave this piece of parchment in their eager little faces. My signature will placate them without fail, I assure you. Well, uh, I guess I don't have to fight my way through the entire town. Adieu and good Although luck. I would like to kill them all the Lord eventually. Dread awaits. The use of the gallows, I pass on to you. The time has come, my stitched lip lovelies. We set sail. Get on board and man your stations. Bye. Left behind like a dog. Seven curses upon that ship. Magister Julian. The Magister is rubbing the dirt off his robes, none the worse for wear, apparently, from the blast of magic that knocked him off his feet. You! The damn recruit! I'd be whining and dining aboard the Lord Dread if it weren't for you. Your meddling in Magister affairs had better be worth it. Yes, I am very much aware. Wasn't my damned head that hit the floor back there. Now answer me. Did you meet with the Magister caravan on your way into town? The hour's growing late and I'm beginning to worry something might have gone wrong. By the bishop's bones, you saw it! Out with it, man! What happened? Um... Dwarfs! The pox on those beardy devils! Raymond, that old goat, always suspected there's more to the Driftwood Dwarves than meets the eye. Hate to admit it, but I think he may be right. Too many things have gone wrong along Reaper's Coast to attribute to bad luck. Magister ships sinking, weapons disappearing, and as you've seen, a caravan attacked and destroyed. Rumor has it the Dwarvian Queen herself is behind these acts of sabotage. That is what I want you to prove. They've always been snakes in the grass. Cheap labor, sure. And hard workers, too. Half of them are their queen's spies. Her eyes, her ears, her poison pouring hands. You know what Queen Justinian is like, surely. A tyrant and a master strategist to boot. There's a local thug, Lohar. He runs an operation out of his hideout beneath the Black Bull Tavern. I suspect this man of being a spy for his queen. Okay, well, re more than one reason to talk to this guy now. It may be interesting to have a word with him. Find out what he's up to. Where I really want you to ferret around is Reaper's Bluffs, to the west of Driftwood. It's wild territory, remote and hostile, where I believe the dwarves may have set up a base of operations away from prying eyes. Should you find any such place, and better yet, proof that Lohar is working on behalf of Queen Justinia, you will be handsomely rewarded, I assure you. In that case, go forth and let the hunt... Let the hunt commence. Well, I'm glad for the information, but I'm not in such a hurry to help you. Just have fun. Mister. The little boy looks at you. He picks his nose. You be careful. My daddy's a magister. No, he's not. His daddy's a fisherman like most daddies around here. We're waiting for our friend. He went for a swim. He'll be back soon. No, he won't. He went swimming all the way to Fort Happy. Fort Joy? That's what I said. Fort Joy. 
He's going to find his mum and bring her back. Uh, yeah, let's not break That's right. Concerts. I think he's an idiot. And when he gets back, I'm going to tell him so. Mister. Oh, she has the same stuff. The little boy beside her looks at you. He picks his. We're waiting for Joe. Joe's a good swimmer. Lucky find that is something more than you originally bargained for. Three hours later. Okay. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget them. My word, but you do look exhausted. I bet you could use a touch of magic. Have at it. Got yourself situated. Okay, what do we have? Blinding radiance, arrow and barrage, chain lightning. So these are um, these are for a, a, a beast. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Keeping it together, yeah, Bree. Be I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. I've heard of that one. Well, don't come Skin over. Craft. I want you buying anything. If I don't come visit your tongue, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? I have that. Together, Bree. I'm all right, 
as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. <laughs> Smells worse over here okay. than a dozen All right, you know Yep, yep. Well, don't come over. It's not like you're buying anything. Well met, friend. Interested in Driftwood's finest catch? You look down at the cart and see fish with flaking scales, tumours and, in one case, three heads. It's free to look. Just don't touch nothing unless you're going to make my purse jingle. <laughs> Fair travels, friend. Wars are brewing, my friend, and I'll stand by your side. But prices will go up, even for one of our own. Buy now and buy often. Special prices for you, my friend. Gotta stick with your own in times of trouble, right? War is hell, my friend, but it's very good for business. Good luck to you. Straight through and a piercing shot. Reactive shot. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Well, don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your tunnel, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Startled, the guard leaps backwards and reaches for her weapon. She locks eyes with yours before releasing the grip on her blade's hilt. You shouldn't surprise me like that. Oh, I could have slashed your neck clean open. Rustling leaves no longer remind me of autumn. A songbird's call no longer makes me whistle. Now, they might signal a void walking's attack. Have you ever faced a void walking? Nonsense. You best abandon those fables of yours. The danger is real. Uh -huh. And the first to fall will be the dreamers and the escapists. You, stranger, what are you doing here? I'm someone investigating the disappearance of four magisters. There's a sorcerer stalking these streets, an affront to our order. Several brothers have gone missing. Now tell me, have you seen a man in a grey cloak, grey beard, carrying a satchel, perhaps? Damien, take it all. Where is the snake? Magister Carver will have our heads if we don't find him. It's vital that you report anything unusual. We must know. Is that clear? He arrived in Driftwood some days ago, dressed as a tinkerer. He bought and sold a few knickknacks. But we thought nothing of it until our brothers started vanishing. As soon as he knew we were onto him, he ran. We think he's hiding in here. But he's a canny one. Now, be on your way. Who knows where he could strike next? Magister's dropping left and right. Can't say I'm shedding any tears. Drift, home of the Black Bull Tavern. Magister Regional Headquarters and Jail, Driftwood. Huh? 
I'm watching you, stranger. Okay. Oh, we need to get Javix in the visit. Bellwether! I need those reports, oh. damn it! Right away. The Magister startles, realizing there's a stranger in his midst. What do you want? You can't just come in here as you please. There's Magisters missing. I'm trying to conduct a bloody investigation. Ah, I see. You're sniffing around for a reward. Well, there'll be gold for anyone who helps us bring this mess to an end. Otherwise, you won't get a damn thing. All right. He's a tinkerer type named Higba. Grey beard and a dark cloak, according to reports. He's still here somewhere. He can't have gotten out of Driftwood. Not past our barricades. If you see anything, tell me or my men at once. Otherwise, well, so you know anything? Answers. Stop wasting my time, then. Oh, actually. The Magister's jaw is tightly clenched as he stares out of the window. He senses you. Potion grenade. What? Uh... When, not if, and you'll see for yourself in time, we'll make all of Driftwood come and see what happens to those who can spot like? Those tinkerers all look the same, scruffy, gold-hungry, sly wretches. This one has a grey beard and a dark... Desertions? Deserters. What do you know about desertions? This miserable town has too many gossip mongers. But they're right. We have had some desertions of late. The veterans disgruntled with the new leadership. But they slip away in the night, taking supplies. Cowards and traitors, all of them. I'm looking for loyal magisters, vanishing in broad daylight. Desertion just doesn't fit. Okay. Surrounded by incompetence, I deserve a better post. Some stairs. Oh, great, a citizen. Can't you see I'm on a break here? What? Oh, no. Poor Demori. Go tell Magister Ryman or Magister Julian immediately. They'll raise the alert. Go. Now. Break now, Yvette. You better not fall asleep on your watch again. Ooh. Calm down, Brianna. Carver's got his dossier on the sorcerers. Oh shit. Uh <laughs> So apparently we ran into a little bit of trouble out in the market. I didn't even realize it. Head nodding drowsily, the Magister brings her voluminous sleeve up to her face. She sniffs loudly and suddenly jerks to attention, eyes red-rimmed with zeal and something else. They won't take me unawares. I'm... I'm ready for anything. See? I have incepted in... Well, I'm ready. That's what matters. Vigilance! Why, whoever snatching magisters off the street and disappearing them? Six lost in a week. Six! Need to be ready. Ready. Ready! Ready to protect. She sounds a little high strung. Waving you away, she cranes her neck to scan all around her. Let's get outside to Ifan. Of course, sir. Right away. 
and um, let's see if this turns into a fight or what we're going to end up with here. So that we traded with him. Keeping it together, Bree. I might take your uh, healing potion. I'm all right. If and Ben Mezd is our living breeze. I don't know how you got free, but it'll be back to the joy with you and no mistake. One eye squints, the other bulges out even further, as if to compensate. <laughs> oh, it's you, all right. It's definitely you. Strength with and finesse. Uh, what has he got? Finesse out the yin yang. We can say you can see she wants to have you locked up all to herself. Persuasion is zero needed too. See, I don't get that. Because uh, I. And obviously we have a lot of. I don't know. Your little tricks won't work on me, Ben Mezd. <laughs> she considers your offer. Uh, how much? The Magister grabs the coin and looks around shiftily, then turns back to you. Get out of here, and don't let me catch you again. So I should be talking to you. There's not a code for the junk. Keeping that together, please. Junk? Why, I offer nothing less than the wisdom of the ancients. You're simply to stand in a town protected by Magister Raymond's wisdom. Without him, the Void Wagon would have turned this slum into a charnel house. We. So we do have a waypoint here. Penny for a sick dog. A glance at the dog's miserable face tells you it's sick, all right. Oh, my dog's doctor. Dog's sick. Go on, kiss a penny for a sick dog. Thank you kindly. A any chance of another one? Penny for a sick dog and all that? Never forget Party for a penny. You can sing him a love song and call him mummy. Much obliged. Could I push you for one? All right, it's only, it's only a few. Cheers. Why not? Can I trouble... Three, You're very calm. Four, nice. Could I prevail upon you for just one more? Penny for a sick dog and infinitarium. Um, I can keep going with this. As a spirit, how about... Much obliged. Could I push you? Cheers. You're very kind. Nice. Could I prevail upon you for just one? There's a lot more humans. Just what we needed. John, what? For nothing less than the wisdom of the ancients. It gets harder and harder to see the bright side. Driftwood ain't safe, and it ain't pleasant. I try to taste the sweet, but all I'm fed is bitter. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Well, no Never combat. Oh, the frickin' fish barrels again. Why did I freaking think about that a second ago talking to the sick dog? Heckles raised, the dog barks at the sand built up beneath the building. There's something not right, and that's wrong. It's under the house thing there, and it's bad. I can smell it. You be careful now. What's under there smells real bad. It smells evil. So, what is 
exactly am I looking at here? Right? Driftwood Fishworks. I hope Joe doesn't smell when he comes back. Tear this place apart plank by plank. We will find him. You can't just charge in here and ransack my business. There's a murder on the loose, and you're thinking about your business. I have rights. You've no authority to storm in here like this. We have the authority for missing magistrates. And if we suspect you're hiding there, kill out. Right. Sorry about that. So much as a rat's hair out of place. It's not the magistrates. Then we can get them out, and you can get back to work. So we get the belt or not? That was an accident. The stink of beer almost covers up the stink of fish. The dog sniffs the wooden decking, like there's something wrong. Something's wrong. <laughs> something's wrong, and it's not right. I don't know, but there's something wrong, and it's underneath the floor. Be careful down there, mister. You're not smelling what I'm smelling. There's a sorcerer somewhere in this worm-ridden dump. Have you seen him? Grey cloak, grey beard, satchel of books. Lucian's teeth. Where is that runt hiding? If you see anything suspicious, anything at all, report it immediately. Do you understand? He glares at you before stomping off, resuming his... Peers at an expertly dissected fish, gently poking its innards with his knife. Fascinating. Most fascinating. Oh, my. I mean, no. Uh, what do you want? The dwarf brushes your hand off and shuffles back a step or two. I do not have. Uh, I ain't got no time for talking, dwarf or not. I've got to carry on with my job. Fellow dwarf who's got a scheme brewing. The dwarf appraises you for a moment, then sighs. Whatever's wrong with these fish is causing a lot of hardship for a lot of folk. I want to figure out what's happening to them, see if there's anything that can be done. Yes, as it happens. I need to see the effects of eating these fish oh, firsthand, if you understand me. Do as I ask, and you'll be amply rewarded, I guarantee you. Ask Wonderful. Away. Now, Dwarves there's three samples that I wish to learn more about. Care to choose? The fish instantly churns your insides. You double over in pain. A sudden vivid sensation of floating in darkness assails you. There's something in there with you. Something. Hungry and corrupt. You can't breathe. You can't breathe. The dwarf suddenly drifts back into view, peering at you with fascination. How do you feel? 
A stream of black bile suddenly erupts from your mouth and across the dwarf's boots. He doesn't even look displeased. Uh, I see. Well, I'm sure it was nothing but a side effect of the fish. Speaking of which, I've learned a great deal from observing you. I owe you a great debt. The dwarf puffs up his chest and proudly gestures to the fish. The fish is indeed malignant. Dwarves are affected by it in the same manner as other species. Uh, what do we do, another? Thank you, but no. I can only allow for one specimen per volunteer, or my findings could become flawed. The fish you ate is known as Yellow Ridgeback. Quite a cunning breed, often used in concoctions to increase alertness. But this one, touched by the void itself. Who is to say how such a creature might alter an alertness mixture? Seek out somewhere that peddles alertness herb mixes. Adding these um, unique Ridgebacks might make quite the impact. So, now my work must continue, as soon as I've got in my quarter of fish, of course. Farewell, stranger. The dwarf peers at an expertly dissected... Fascinating. Oh, my. I mean, no. Uh, what do you want? A scholar, not a With a small grin, the dwarf glanced... Indeed I am. They can close our schools, but they can't take away what I've been taught. Besides, there's still so much to learn. Plenty. These tainted fish are causing a lot of hardship. If I can understand what's happening... Yes, as it happens. I right. need to see the effects of eating these fish firsthand, if you understand. Wonderful. Now, I have two um, hmm, samples that I wish... The fish instantly churns your insides. Everything turns black. A sudden vivid sensation of floating in darkness assails you. There's something in there. The dwarf suddenly That's drifts back into view, peering same at words. you with fascination. How do you feel? A stream of black bile suddenly erupts from your mouth and across the dwarf's boot. Well, I'm sure any discomfort will Two pass passions. shortly. Besides, I've learned a great deal from observing you. I'm in your debt, stranger. Ah, yes. Of course, of course. The fish you ate is known as the umber monkfish. A remarkably intelligent breed. In fact, its flesh is often used to create intelligence mixtures. So he's me now this monkfish, one that's been touched by the void itself, who's to say how its flesh could augment an intelligence? Find somewhere that offers intelligence brews, then add this monkfish sample. The effects could be most interesting. So, now my work must continue as soon as... The dwarf peers at an expertly dice. Fascinating. Oh, my. I mean, no. Uh, what do you want? What's it to you? The dwarf grimaces and points the tip of his knife at his hand. Whatever's wrong with these fish is causing a lot of hardship for. Yes, as it happens. I need to see the effects of eating this yellow fish. Is the fish instantly churns your inside. A sudden vivid Black. sensation of floating in dust. The dwarf suddenly drifts back into the. How do you feel? A stream boots. of black bile suddenly erupts from your mouth and across the dwarf's boots. Well, I'm sure any discomfort will pass shortly. Besides, I've learned a great deal from observing you. I'm in your debt, stranger. The dwarf puffs up his chest. The fish is indeed malignant. Humans are affected by it in the same manner as other species. Ah, yes. Of course, of course. The fish you ate is known as Crimson Bream. Quite a fast, vicious breed. It's often used in the creation of ferocity mixtures. But those use regular specimens, not this kind. Who is to say what might happen if you brewed a ferocity mixture with a Crimson Bream that's been touched by the void itself? The effects could be quite potent. Seek out somewhere that peddles ferocity herb mixes, but make an addition. One of these, um, unique Bream. So, now my work must continue. <laughs> okay, so. Three new recipes. Uh, 
If any of you Looking see, for a good time, me. mate. Head downstairs in the Black Bull Tavern. Tell the lummox blocking the way that Blassin gave you a tip off. Hmm. Grisha's still the favourite. If I bet against him, I could win big. Oh, lose it all. You see a man, well fed and wealthy, but stress has lined his face and narrowed his waist. He seems to be expecting you. He offers you a large and rusted key. You took your time. The magisters are searching the place, and Lohan needs to get his stuff out of the basement if he doesn't want to lose it. <laughs> uh, yep. Good. And if you get caught, I know nothing about it, and this conversation never happened. Good day. Uh, yep. Not a problem. Talk about You're else. still here. Wouldn't you be more useful somewhere else? Like the basement. There's a lot of places in this town I would love to just completely ransack. Dwarf! Have you seen a human acting suspiciously near here? Grey cloak, grey beard, satchel slung over his shoulder. Blast! Well, if you do see anything odd, report it immediately. There is a foul creature lurking in... The Magister glares at you before... Now, you get back to work. So, to Easy. I'll flush the rat out wherever he's hiding. He won't get another one of my brothers. So, report. Did you find anything? Watch your tongue. I'm after a wanted man, a tinkerer, but I could still find time to haul you into a cell. Well, if you do see anything out of place, report it. That lunatic is not going to take another Magister. It'll be a pleasure to watch Magister Raymond purge him. I... I meant nothing. It's a magister term, not something you need to know. Now, be on your damn way. I... Oh, no, it means something. I know what purging means. So we need to find our way into this basement. This place. with just dallying about so let's see if we can find our way into this basement here soon jpico death signing off we'll catch you guys in the next episode